after the last three particularly wet summers we've seen a huge increase in soft rush infestations on farms so we decided to set up a trial to look at different methods of controlling rushes. We came here to Fiach Farm at Darville which is farmed by the Ireland family. Uh, it's a fairly typical southwest Scotland upland unit uh, with suckler cows and sheep and also we do have a, a fairly decent crop of, of rushes uh, are on the farm just now. Jimmy also runs a contracting business so it was an ideal opportunity to come here uh, to a farm that can carry out different methods of control. The rashes are getting on top of us here a bit and we used to be able to manage them a bit better but the economics of doing all this is a bit questionable now so but the ground isn't that bad here really but it takes quite a lot of money to get the pH right, get rashes under control and when you get a summer like last summer I'm afraid they got away from us something terrible. When I was a lot younger we used to grow hay, we actually grew turnips on it quite successfully but the rainfall we're dealing with now brings a lot of that into question but if we can keep a solar grass on it and graze cows on it that, that'll do me. As part of this trial uh, we decided to, to set up a, a grid of, of different plots that are 90 metres long and 9 metres wide. The first one was topped, the second one was sprayed, the third one was topped and sprayed, so it was topped in 2017 and sprayed in 2000, the spring of 2018. The fourth one was subsoiled and sprayed, uh, basically with a view to reduce compaction and improve drainage in that plot. The next one is a control, which is the fifth one, and then beyond that we have three different contact uh, weed control options, all through a weed wiper. Uh, one was MCPA, one was a Roundup, and the, the final one was Kyleo, which is a mix of Roundup and MCPA. The goals of this three year project are to look at what the most economically viable way of controlling rashes are and also uh, look at what the best method of long term control is. So we know what will kill them on, a, on an annual basis, but how can we actually keep, the, keep these rushes under control for a long period of time? Throughout the trial, we looked at the cost per hectare of, of each individual treat, treatment with a view to determine what the most economic one is. And we know that topping would cost between 30 and 45 pounds an acre, um, leading to a, a very, very high capital cost and with a, a fairly minimal impact on, on a rush population. So we know that probably topping, although one of the most common methods of, of rush control, isn't likely to be the, the most satisfactory outcome here. One of the most interesting uh, outcomes from this project so far has been the impact of contact weed control through the weed wiper. And we've seen some very good results. Interestingly, these have been the lowest cost options as well. They're applied with uh, a low cost machine and also just a quad bike. So low compaction, low cost, and a really good option. Uh, it will remain to be seen what happens in the next two years of the trial, uh, but so far the, the contact options seem to be the best. The battle against rust is, is going to be a long and difficult one. Hopefully this video has shown you the, some of the options available to you to control rushes on your farm.